Hey guys and welcome back or welcome to my channel. So as you can see today, I am not playing Sims. I'm actually playing Enzoi since I did release the character creator demo. And if you guys are interested in downloading the character creator demo, I would download it as soon as I can since it won't be here for much longer. So, yeah, so let's get into the game. Before I actually start creating and customizing my character, I want to take a look at the UI. Up here you can see that you can like change the color filters and all that. It's kind of similar in my opinion to reshade and g-shade um, Except you can't really like tweak any of the filters it just like It's mainly just integrated on there. I hope that in the future you can like create your own filters On the next tab you are like able to like Take pictures in the character creator which in most games you're not able to you kind of do have to like go into the actual game to take pictures and here you can like um basically tweak around with anything the dof the fov and like also choose filters from there and you can also like remove the background which just basically just turns it blue we also have facial capture which lets you control your zoe's face which i haven't really set up so i won't be showing it in this video and here you can obviously just change the gender and your age group, which right now we don't have all of the age groups. I do believe that we are getting more of them. And here you can change like the, your gender options and like who you're attracted to. Down here we do have a trait system, which is a little bit different than how Sims has it. Here it's kind of like a general thing and you, and you can like fine tune it, like pick out what exactly you wanna be. It's kind of like more of a general thing. Which I'm not too sure how I feel about it. Um, you can like pause and read all the um, traits if you want to. Which I did end up going with, I believe, artistic. That's because I mainly wanted this Zoe to be like kind of more like artistic and like with a lot of colors and stuff, which I haven't really done. Moving on from the trait system, we do have the presets, which the presets. Or basically if you, if you don't really want to like dress up a Zoe or create it um if you just want to head into the game without caring too much about the appearance of your Zoe you can do that you can also easily take off the clothes just by going to the side and like removing it on the next slide we do have the face presets which are also high quality um in case you just want to like dress up your Zoe and don't want to like um, mess around with their face you can do that and at the bottom we do have the hair presets which some of them are more customizable than others um, for some you can like just tweak around with the color and you can change the length um, for some of them you, you have highlights um, you have the length and yeah you can like basically customize every single thing of them but for some of them you can't so it kind of just depends on what hair you want here I'm just showing you guys like all the hair customizations that's available in the game like the hair color and the length as was I believe the feather option or the smoothness or the edge softness um, if I'm not mistaken that's what it's caught in here. My main critique about the hairs is that I wish we had a lot of more hair diversity. I'm not saying that there isn't any, there is absolutely some of them. But I wish we did have like more curly options, maybe even some more dreads. Um, yeah, um, maybe just some hair options that people of color can wear since, you know, um, that's always a plus if a game does have them. Which I'm not saying that there isn't any on the screen, you can obviously see um, one that's like very curly. Um, I will like one that's maybe a little bit more curly. And yeah. Um, in the future, I do hope we see more POC hairs. For the hair color, I was kind of going for maybe like a pinkish, like a light pink. Um, I was like really indecisive just because we do have like so many color options since it is on a color wheel um, system. I do wish that we had like maybe like some color palettes instead of having to use a color wheel. As much as I do love the color wheel aspect of the game, um, a color palette would be nice or or something similar. I know that we can make our own color palettes but having one integrated with the game would be kind of helpful. 
Moving on from the hair, we do have like the skin complexion, which I believe that all of these options have like different undertones and stuff. Um, you can still customize it further. Um, I actually lo love how many complexions we have and like how many skin tones we do have. I know that in some games we don't have this much variety and the color wheel does help it a ton since you are like able to fine tune like every hue and stuff and like just basically make your exact skin tone if you like. At the bottom there's also some other skin features which I don't show but later on in the video I do come back to them. The next option we do have is eyes and I actually like how many variety we do have which I've never seen a game have this much variety. Um, we have like some realistic looking ones and also some some that look more supernatural or maybe like some contact lenses and we are we are able to like again like fine tune every single aspect of it um aside from the color we are able to like modify like the iris size the color blend options and stuff like that which i've never really seen in any game moving on from the eyes we do have the eyebrow options which I actually like. I, I do. I would like to see more variety of them. And again, we are able to like change the color of them, and as well as like the the intensity of them. I think they make it like more opaque and less opaque, if I'm not mistaken. And we also have the eyelashes. Aside from the color options, you are able to like lift them up and like lower them. If that make, makes any sense, you. I will show it further on in the video. But just note that you are able to like do that. Here you can see me go into the edit mode and in the basic edit mode it does have like the more general options. In the detailed edit mode there is like more dots on their face which you can like fine tune every single detail. But in the basic edit mode it's kind of like moves around like a large portion of their face. And in the detail mode um, you can like go in and fine tune everything. Here, like I mentioned before, you're able to like move up and down her eyelashes, which I've never really seen in any game before, and I actually quite like it. Here you can see me go back to the skin tab. And basically I just um, added some shine to her skin and some detailed lines. Moving on from skin details, I do go on to pick out her makeup, which some makeup presets do look a little bit bad on dark skin and some of them will look a lot better on darker complexions. So yeah, um, obviously if you don't like how one of them looks on darker skin, you can like go ahead and like change the color and make it look a little bit better on darker skin. For the blush, one of my main complaints is that moles and freckles are tied to the actual blush so in the future i do hope that they go back and add maybe like a skin details options where you can like pick out moles and freckles without having to like apply blush but you are like able to like completely remove the blush but you're like not able to like mix and match for example if you want freckles you aren't able to like um mix it with another blush preset so you do kind of have to like compromise between what you want in that aspect here you can see me pick out her eyeshadow which for th for the eyeshadow and the uh, eyeliner i really don't have any notes um it's pretty basic um again you can like basically customize every single aspect of it um i like how you can make it more glossy or more matte and again, I don't really have notes for the eyeliner and eyeshadow.
Moving on from the face category, we do have the body shape category, which you can like again like fine tune everything. I will say that maybe I would like maybe some presets, um, because pretty much all the body types look pretty similar, except for the body weight. That's pretty much the only thing you can really customize. Again, you can like make your own body shape, but I would like to see maybe some presets integrated. Moving on from the body shape, we do have outfit presets, which I believe you can also make your own if you don't like any of these and just uh, apply it in game. Below the outfit presets, we do have, I believe these are the people that won the contest. If you guys don't know, Enzoi did host like a competition a while back and I think these are the contestant winners, which a lot of these are really high quality. Some of these look more modern and trendy. And then we also have tops, which for the little bot icon, um, that means that basically means that you are able to like put your own texture on it and um, generate one with AI, which I won't get into the whole AI debate just because that will take like whole videos worth of debating. But yeah, you are able to like create your own um, texture with AI. Um, in my opinion, this some of the AI features aren't really that good. It still needs a lot more fine tuning. But in my opinion, I also won't be using it that much just because I'm not exactly sure what the game devs are training the AI on. And yeah, I don't really like supporting AI. But for the sakes of this game, which this game is free, um, if you just like want to test it out, you're not really supporting the game devs in any way since you aren't really giving them money. And the, gener the generating AI texture does take like, I think, five minutes. It is a little bit long, um, and yeah, um, it's kind of hit or miss for the textures. Sometimes it does come out with one that's kind of good, which for the one that generated for me, it, it has been the nicest one that I have seen generated by AI since I have been testing out the demo. So yeah, it's kind of like hit or, hit or miss, and you can also like just basically change all the um, the size of it or the verticalness and the gloss and stuff like that and you are also able to like um impart your own texture and yeah here you can see me just like clicking through some of the shirts which i won't like click on all of them just because there are so many of them but yeah um just so you guys know that a lot of their stuff is more like modern and more stuff that is trending i don't or at least I don't think that there is any clothes that are like more vintage. Which I would like to see like more vintage clothes, maybe some 80s clothes or more older. And also maybe some like Y2K clothes, like Y2K inspired and stuff like that. Just because I do like dressing up in like different aesthetics. And I hope that my Zoe can also do that. If you haven't noticed, some of the clothes are like kind of split into like different parts. For example, one one clothing piece does have like separate variants of it and I'm not too sure why they decided to do that. In my opinion, it kind of makes like the clothing selecting more cluttered. For the dresses and like rompers, I would like to see more variety. Um, right now we basically have like more casual. I would like to see ones that are more like high glam and stuff. Um, again, they aren't totally bad, but I would like to see more that are more like um, in the occasion of like going out to a nightclub or like a cocktail party or a wedding, uh, if that makes any sense.
For the shoes, I was noticing that we don't really have any high heels. Most of them are like pretty low to the ground. Um, maybe in real life they would be like considered kitten heels. Again, I'm like not a fashion expert, but I think um, that's what it would be considered since they aren't like that high up. Um, I do want more shoe variety. Um, I think out of all of them, I think shoes we have the least of. So hopefully they go back and add some more. In the game, you also have the ability to create like your own fashion piece, which is really cool. You can like pick out the neck um, and as well as the sleeves and like the the torso part. You can as well also like customize the color. And all, all of the clothes in this category are ones that I have made, so it is saved to your game, which is really cool. And you can also customize the pants, um, and the pants you can customize the waistline and like the length. For the skirt, you're only like able to customize the fit and the length of it. You're not like able to customize the the waist. I'm pretty much done with our outfit, the only thing missing is accessories and you can see that we do have hats and some of them clip but for the most part they aren't that noticeable. Of course it does kind of depend on what hair you're wearing. We also have glasses but I decided not to put some on her since she does have pretty makeup on. And of course the necklaces which most of them you can customize if not all of them. For the accessories, I do wish we had a little bit more variety, um, as well as the ability to like um, layer it, if that makes any sense, to like wear more than one at once, especially for the necklaces. Next up we have nails which we actually do have like quite a lot of them. Um, I really like the ones with the patterns and designs. Next up we have the studio mode which you're, you have the ability to like change the background and the lighting. For some of the backgrounds you are able to like change some of the color aspects. You can also mess around with the lighting. For the lighting, you can like change the position of it as well as the color. All of these options allow you to get like a really pretty picture without having to go in game. After you're done creating your Zoe, you are able to upload it to Canvas, which is sort of this gallery. You're able to add like a description as well as a title. Um, you're also able to add tags, um, which is basically like hashtags, I think. You are able to add up to 15. And you can also take um, pictures um, for the thumbnail. Which I really like how you're able to do it yourself and it's not generated by the game like it is in Sims. And again, you are able to like tweak around with um, all the camera options. After taking the pictures, you can like upload it to Canvas. And like I said, Canvas is basically like a gallery. 
um here you can like see other people's stuff and as well as mine and you're able to like link your social media platforms and all of that that's pretty much it for today's video if you guys liked it don't forget to comment like and subscribe and if you are interested in playing this um demo um download it as fast as you can because it's only going to be here for a couple of days so yeah so that's it bye Thank you.